Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome to the channel. And if you're an oldie, welcome back to the channel. So lovely to see you guys here again. So we are in a new setting and let me just say one thing about, you know, creating content for YouTube is that if you always wait to be in that particular setting to film, <laughs> it will never happen. Especially if you're a business owner that is literally all over the place most of the time. So I just make do what I have. And when I find a spot that is lighting and that looks clear enough for me to convey a particular message, I I do exactly that and today it's just one of them so on today's video i just wanted to talk to you about developing the right mindset and how that is super important for your entrepreneurial journey or just you getting into the things that you're passionate about and i want to start off by kind of giving you guys a brief of a bit of my story so if you don't know this yet about me um, I started, I actually started being an entrepreneur in like 2015, which is a little bit over five years from now, um, five years ago, actually. And I remember just being super excited in the beginning of like being, you know, this businesswoman and running this business, da, 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 and, you know, making money and that sort of thing. And then I do remember over time actually going through like a, a, an entire, like a big decline because I just felt like this is not as glamorous as people said it was. Like it was just so strange. I was filled with a lot of anxiety. I mean, and I, I think I just wasn't like prepared mentally or I did not have the right mindset then to actually run my own business. And over the years, I've accumulated a couple of lessons that I'm hoping I'd be able to share, um, you know, in, in this video. So the first thing is that de developing a right mindset is obviously very important for you, mainly because <laughs> you are going to hear a lot of no's, okay? You're going to send quotations. You're going to talk to people. You're going to do a lot of things, not a lot of things, but you're going to do a fair amount of things that are not going to work out as you've planned for them to. So, and for example, when I started my business, I was a wedding planner and a deco specialist, right? And my work was like all over Facebook and all over all these social media platforms. And what used to happen a lot is people used to contact me, right? And tell me about all these plans and all of these things that they have and all the stuff that they want to do. And then we'll ask for a quote. I promise you guys, I would spend so much time putting together quotes, like quotes that are like tangible money, quotes and I'm like, if this money comes through and I get all these clients, it's a pop, you know? And I think my decline really started happening when there used to be a lot of no's. So I used to find myself spending time being so busy, putting together quotes because I'm just like, oh, great. People are seeing my work. People are recognizing what I do, but people just not coming back to actually like confirm the bookings so that I can actually cash in the money, you know? And I do realize now, having grown into my entrepreneurial journey, that it is important to make sure that you've got the right mindset because when you receive all those no's, you can either look at it from a point of discouragement and say, okay, cool, shucks, I'm going to shut this business down. It's not working out for me and I don't want to do this anymore because it's not making money, da, 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 da. Or, or, <laughs> which is actually what I would recommend you to do is that you actually take those no's as an adjustment. So what I'm learning, and I think what I've learned along the journey is just taking those no's to ask myself, okay, why did this person not come and book with me? Why did this person not get back to me? What could I have done better? And what I've seen this do in multiple businesses that I've started along the way is that it has helped me, number one, develop my system. So for instance, if a client never got back to me and like two weeks later, I remember that I sent this quote and you know I needed this person to book because I needed the income and that sort of thing. Now, what I've started doing is looking at systems that are super helpful so that I don't miss that. Looking at systems that will enable me to actually follow up on that client and hear them out. I've been doing a lot of uh, tidbit tips for More Money Mondays on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on my Instagram, this is perfectly the right time to do it. Where I'm sharing with you guys a couple of sales tips. And one of the sales tips I actually shared was following up. And what I said in that video was that in order for you to kind of know and to, to be, to, just to basically be intact with how your customers or your potential customers are responding to your offering. You need to be able to follow up on your clients. So I would definitely advise you to check that video out. But following up really kind of helped me, but timely following up, right? I'm not following up three weeks later when somebody has already made the decision, but I'm following up at a quite relative good time that will enable me to kind of still woo the client in, even if they haven't, or let's say they haven't really kind of made a decision on the supply that they want, but they can still, you know, come with me because I'm still, you know, 
being able to assist them so that was very important and i think it was important for me to develop a right mindset to be able to grow the business that i had and i think going forward into all the other businesses that i've come to run and let me actually just share a few steps with you that i think are super helpful in terms of having you activating that mindset so you can be able to run your thing because i am quite aware that there are people that are currently watching this video right now you might not necessarily be a business owner but you maybe you know have a nine to five and you want to have a side hustle or whatever the case and I think that these tips are just going to help you kind of activate that little, you know, boss babe or boss whatever in your mind so you can move to the next level. The first thing that I did was getting a mentor. That was like super important. I really entirely underestimated the importance of this. And what this kind of helped me is it helped me bounce off ideas with somebody and get a different perspective. When you are beginning, and I think when you're in any situation in life in general, you tend to just look at things from like just a narrow point of view. But having a mentor who's more successful and has kind of past all the stages that you're currently going through kind of helps you get a different perspective and you kind of see the bigger picture so that for me was very instrumental because whenever I had days where you know things were really dark and I was just like I don't know I'm getting really confused and all of that stuff it was so much easier for me to just call up on my mentor and explain what the situation is and actually have them speak into my life and kind of give me a bit of direction so you know what it's not gonna last maybe try do this or try do that the honest truth guys is there are people that have you know walked so you can run <laughs> literally and you need to be able to use that and mentors come in different forms you can meet i've met majority of my mentors at events where i just rock up at somebody like a guest speaker that has spoken and i'd be like listen i really like what you spoke about and I really think I can gain value and just really pour myself into that relationship and also be able to give. I did a video on how to get mentors on this channel. I'm going to link it down below so you're more than welcome to have a look at that. So that was definitely the first one. The second one was read. I know this is so cliche but let me tell you something. There is nothing as powerful as upskilling yourself as an entrepreneur or as somebody that wants to get ahead in life. Being able to read, listening, to, well let's basically just educate yourself. I think let's just rather put it like that educate yourself it's like reading podcasting watching youtube videos of other people you watching this video right now this was super helpful to me especially in the books department because i was quite a reader i still am um but what it really helped me do is it actually helped me look at things from a different perspective and it actually helped me widen up my horizon as far as how i can run my business so for instance when you read books by like your john maxwell when you read books by your tony robbins you're reading books from a, a, a broad perspective but sometimes from like an american narrow things uh, an american like narrow way of things and what that helps you do is you actually then open wide what your business skills could be so you move from looking forward to just like me trying to service people in johannesburg to saying how do i make this business a global business and then start working step by step daily to actually you know do that so that was super helpful for me i've shared with you guys multiple books that have been so instrumental in my growth and one of the other things that i also do on my instagram is i usually just share some of some of the books that i'm reading so if you don't follow me on instagram again <laughs> this is a shameless plug you guys just go follow me on instagram literally i share almost everything so you can actually follow me on instagram and the third one for me is be realistic <laughs> i know this can be a little bit funny to actually say but be super realistic one of the things that you we don't realize as side hustlers or business people entrepreneurs or whatever it is you identify yourself as is you will start this business and what happens and this is what happened to me it skyrockets like it just it goes and it becomes such a success but you need to realize that that high is not how business usually is that high is not how you know business is going to be for the longest of time and that's where sometimes we don't become realistic we think that because it started off a high that's how it's always going to be or sometimes we think that because our business has started and it's still on a low that's how it's going to be all the time you need to be able to be super realistic about your journey and be super realistic of your market what you offer and how people are responding to it and sometimes being realistic just means that you just need to get a little bit of extra help to get more clients and you know marketing sales and that sort of thing so that you can begin to grow your business further but be super realistic on how your business is growing and where you want to go because sometimes we think 
And you know what? This is like an entrepreneurial brain thing where you have this idea and you know it's going to change people's lives and you're just like, this is the best idea anybody has ever come up with, right? However, you think that everyone else is going to think the same about that idea. You think that everyone else is going to think this is a great idea and everyone's going to spend thousands and millions of money. And sometimes it is not always like that. Sometimes you are going to have to persuade people to buy into that brilliant idea that is also going to change their lives. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are going to have to convince people sometimes because um lots of markets are actually very saturated but as a business owner it is your responsibility that you convey that message to people and you actually make them realize how whatever it is that you're offering gives them the value that they actually need so being realistic is super helpful in that arena but it has helped me now in all my business endeavors kind of be grounded and not um, not think that just because this is what's happening right now, this is how things are going to be forever. I've really, really, really just opened up to being realistic from a sense of if this is my financial goal or these are my sales targets for the month, they are realistic. And if I go above that, I'm not now going to change all my sales targets for the next month saying, because business was like, was like this last month, it's going to be like this all the months to come, you know? But it's like, no, this was just a very great month because it's that season. But, you know, my goals are still very realistic. And I think you can also just take that on to your everyday life. Just be super realistic um, over things that matter to you and over things that you just want to achieve in life. And I think being realistic to actually add on allows you to pace yourself. It actually allows you to sit down and realize that, okay, if I'm realistic about this goal, what can I do daily? What can I do on a weekly to make sure that if I want to make X amount of revenue in my business, what are the things that I need to do on a weekly, daily basis to achieve that? But when we're not realistic, we are just, we literally like running around in circles for this big number that we don't really understand. But like I'm saying, being realistic then enables you to sit down and plan and actually decide how you're going to get there. So that is a really, really, really Really, really important part. So those are just the three points I just wanted to share with you guys for today. And I really hope that they're going to be super helpful to you in terms of building whatever it is that you're building. I will repeat again, I've, I've been receiving a lot of feedback from a lot of people watching More Money Mondays on Instagram. And I think that it's going to be fruitful for you if you are somebody who is a side hustler or you're looking to start a side hustle or you're looking to start a business, you're looking to leave your nine to five. But if you just want to learn more sales tips on how to sell yourself as a brand or sell whatever product or service that you're offering for your business so thank you so much for watching and tuning into this video if you liked it please do give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel i don't know what you're doing child but you need to asap <laughs> okay subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time have a beautiful one Mwah. bye